Okay, guys, uh, welcome to the Van Spective LJM Part 1. Uh, real quickly, this is something I wanted to do for a while, and I had really did some soul searching, if you were, as to if I was going to do this or not. One of the big reasons why is the angry video game nerd. Uh, he's done a lot of the LJM games but there's a lot he hasn't touched upon and having been in playing the games at the time owning a Nintendo back in 1985 when it came out getting a Super Nintendo when it came out in the Sega Genesis um, and playing these games and renting almost every single one of them it, I finally decided that I was going to go ahead and do this uh, the real interesting thing about it is is that LJN was just a publisher. They didn't make any of these games. And as we go through, and especially into the next part, I'm really going to touch into uh, the, uh, the LJN uh, mythos, but there's a few things that I wanted to say first, which is uh, essentially that, that they... Uh, oh, hold on, someone's knocking on the door. One sec. Hey, all right, TVH. Hey, um, I'm here. Hey, Wayne, what are you doing here? Most excellent question for you to ask, dude. So I heard you're doing a review of LGN games, and I thought it'd be uh, all right if we uh, if we totally did it together, and uh, then I could put on my uh, public access show. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. See, Wayne, they actually didn't make that game. So, I don't really need you. Sorry, bud. See, Wayne isn't the only one that's off on this. Uh, LGN was notorious for putting out such bad games that, and a lot of them were movie licensed, uh, that they, even to this day, when I was looking up information as to what were LGM games and what weren't, because I can't remember, they put out a lot of games. Um, even going through the wikis and the websites, there were people that were wrong. Um, someone thought that the, the Simpsons games were, uh, were done by LGM, which isn't quite off, honestly, and I'll, I'll get to that in, in the next part. Um, but, uh, so a lot of games that were just bad were mainly, oh, it's an LGM game. And... So let's take a look at it and let's see what was really bad and what wasn't bad. Now first off, during this first part of the video, I'm going to gloss over pretty much every game that the Angry Video Game Nerd did. Now I'm not here to steal his thunder, I'm not here, he did those reviews very, very well. Uh, some of them I'm just going to show you the game real quick and say, hey, just check out his review at Cinemassacre.com. Um, especially getting into the Friday the 13th one, none of the, uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd do a really good job at that, but so did uh, Lord Cat, um, who uh, actually did a Let's Play Till We Win on it. Um, but I'm still going to throw in my two cents on that deal. So let's get right in. Uh, this is the first part of the LJN Van Spective. Okay, so what we got here, we're going to start with Back to the Future. Uh, not a lot I could say about this that hasn't been said already in uh, uh, other reviews. Um, more so, what I'm going to do here is I'm trying to get to the uh, the stage where you're throwing the ice cream or the root beer floats or whatever the hell it is. Um, something else I'm going to do with this review, guys, is I, I'm not being angry. I, I, that's not my stick. The AVGN does that very well. Um, I want to look at this objectively. It's a bad game. It's not great. It's not based upon the movie, right? But just for my own sanity, I wanted to try this particular stage because, as I was saying earlier, I rented these games, and this is one I rented in particular. And this spot coming up here is I never got past it. Um, so let's see what I can do here. Okay, and I and I think 30 is the magic number. Uh, 
Uh, the tricky thing about this is, as you can see, you've got to get on the right line. It's not very forgiving at all. Okay, 19, doing good. I get that son of a bitch. Ah, uh, what? No! Oh! Yeah, well, it was just an experiment. I didn't think I could do it. 20 years ago, couldn't do it, can't do it now. Uh, now we're going to look at Back to the Future uh, uh, 2 and 3. Uh, this is, again, uh, another one. I'm just going to show it. I really don't have a lot to say for it, but it's part of the LGN library, so we're going to show it here. This is one of the games I think shows it's that classic bad LJN. Um, I don't remember Marty having a pompadour. It's just bad. I, I don't remember birds. Um, you know, it's okay to take liberties with things, but this is really bad. All I'm going to really talk about very briefly just the colors and the sounds. They're awful. The controls are bad. This is just all around bad. Um, so, Friday the 13th. Uh, again, again, as I said before we got to the gameplay, um, Lord Cat and AVGN did a wonderful thing with this. Uh, the only other complaint I have with this is this game I rented a lot. I actually enjoyed it, found it very scary when I was a kid. Um, the major complaint that I had with it was that there's only two characters worth a damn. So basically, and they're the ones that are that are fast and can do the jumps. Basically, if they die, you might as well reset. Um, uh, the other thing that they talked about a lot was, and I'm not showing it here because, again, you can watch the, their reviews, um, is the map system is really messed up. I, for the fact that I'm in this cave, I know I'm not going to find my way out. So if Jason were to attack the kids or the counselor, they're pretty much toast. Yeah, as you can see there, the kids, there's no way I'm going to get out of here, find my way back, and get to whatever cabin the kids are at in a minute. Uh, and yeah, I don't remember zombies from Friday the 13th either. Again, I'm okay with liberties. I think this would have been better. Like, I imagine this being the first survival horror game. Let's go in, into another horror game here. Um, this one coming up here is... Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, I'm pausing here for a second because I own the Nintendo 4 score. I got that for me and my friends to play the four players at once. Um, didn't happen a lot, I'll be honest. I was pretty much the only one that liked this game. Um, you know, the nerd did a great review of this. I will admit this is one of the better LJN games. Uh, and maybe that's saying a lot, maybe it's not. The sound's awesome. I love the music. Uh, and I and I this one's based actually. This should have been called Nightmare on Elm Street Three, Dream Warriors. Um, and I think that's why I like this one so much. That one is my favorite, and I think the reason that's my favorite. Hang on. The music, see, it's actually really good. Um, this here, uh, musically, it reminds me of something else. And uh, when I think of it, we'll get to it. Um, but yeah, I remember watching this on Channel 9 as a kid, and it being cut, but still scaring the shit out of me. But that music, I think I know what that's from. It's from another game. Yeah.
Um, okay, so maybe not, but the, the beat reminds me of it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, uh, in, in the scheme of things, this isn't terrible. Uh, it's probably one of the better controlled, better made uh, LGN games. Um, I actually like the, the, the sequence. Uh, it does kind of slow things down, and when you have four people playing it, you you know, you have all four of you going, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, but yeah, one of the better. Yeah, so you can rock out to this game. Uh, in my opinion, probably one of the better LGN games in the library. So, let's move on here. Um, we got another game coming up here, and just even before I get to it, we're not going to talk about it very long at all. Um, and that game, of course, would be Jaws. Uh, it's really boring. This one, if you want anything on it, you're interested in it, just watch the the nerds review on Cinemassacre.com. Uh, the only thing I have to say about it is it, it only takes about 15 minutes, 20 minutes max to beat. Um, it's really boring, and that's all I have to say. Uh, Karate Kid, another hard one, but again, one I rented a lot as a kid. I like this game. I know I'm in the minority with it. Um, the thing I don't like is, if you know some crane kicking the whole time, you can't, con it's really hard. It, it's basically a tap and a press for the kicks and the punch. Uh, so you're just going to mess up the whole time here, and, um... You know, with the crane kick and that. Ah, I'm not paying. You know what? Let's just get us. Let's just do a montage and get us to the next part of the game, alright? Montage time. Alright, sweet. So that got us through. So now we're on stage two. Um, and. The hit detection's kind of wonky, the enemies kind of bump into you a lot. You know, you get those those crane kicks and those drum kicks quite frequently and they raise your health. Um, it's a hard game, you gotta go through it with one turn. Uh, you have these different bonus uh, things with it. Um, again, it's not that the nerd's off, it's, in my opinion though, when you look at it as far as the, all the games we're gonna play, one of the better LJN games. Um, and. It's satisfying as hell when you beat it, because it's that hard. As you can see, we're going to... So, yeah, I, I really... Not that I disagree with the other reviews out there of this game, but again, it's probably one of the better ones. Uh, as you'll see as we go through more of the LGN library. Uh, so let's get to the next game here. And, uh, yeah, okay, I'm not really going to go into this again... Um, see the other guy's review. Uh, that's really it. Uh, the only other thing I'm really going to have... Um, I'm not even going to talk about this game. I'm just going to kind of sit back and let's bring in Let's bring in Arnold. Uh, do we got him via satellite? Do we got Arnold? Can we, can we bring him in here? Where is he? Satellite up like... Okay, cool, Arnold. Watch and you tell me what you think. Fuck you. Perfect. All right, you did it for me. Uh, the next one, Roger Rabbit, gonna spend a little bit more time on this one. Uh, just going in here, something I remember as a kid is you used to, and I couldn't do it this time around, I'll tell you that going forward, but there, I used to make up codes, and I think how I did it, looking, thinking back now, later, now that I'm not playing it, um, is I, uh, uh, use a code that I got from the game and then just change a couple of the numbers and letters around them. You could pretty much do that with any of them at that point. Um, so it was just kind of a fun little hack thing. Uh, I won again one of the better LJN games. Um, it's not... <sighs> the controls are wonky and take a longer than they should to get used to it. About maybe I'd say about an hour or two of playing it because they're so different than other ones. Like here, I, th I remembered 
Hey, I didn't get the wallet. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the infamous phone number in the game. Uh, in case you haven't heard um, or knew, you could meet with Jessica Rabbit in this game. And I'm not going to show it because i got to go get a password. I just don't really want to get there. But you get a phone number. And back when I was a kid, I actually called that number. And what it was is the premise of this game is to find four pieces of the will. Uh, and... Jessica Rabbit, if you go in there, if you get the password going there, we'll give you her phone number. Well, it was a hint, and it would say, thank you for helping Roger. Um, here's um, here's my number. And, I mean, here's... Uh, let me go back to that. I'm messing up. So it would say, you know, thank you for calling, and you can find one of the pieces of the will here. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so it was a nice little hint. Well, now it's a sex line. Um, not a great game, but again, comparing-wise, probably one of the better ones. Unlike this. Uh, this was not only on the Nintendo, this was also on the Master Drive, the 8-bit, uh, Sega system. Um, it's bad. Um... You know, eh, if you just look at it. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about with this one was this came out the same year that the Super Nintendo did. So imagine getting, going to your friend's house who had a Super Nintendo, and then having to come back and you had a regular Nintendo, and this new game comes out and you rent it, and this is what you got. It happened a lot. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a Super Nintendo fairly early. Um, but pretty, you know, but, and this I was not a game I rented. My buddy Matt rented it a lot as a kid because he was a huge comic fan. Um, at this point, you're going to see you don't even have to fight anything. Um, so we're pretty close to getting to the end here of this particular review, guys. Again, this is pretty much everything that, as I said over and over and over again, uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd did. And uh, I, I really want to give him props uh, for you know, all the reviews and everything he does, and this is not me trying to inter uh, impersonate him. I'm not going to be angry with these reviews. I want to look at them objectively and legitimately and go, is the criticism valid there? Um, and there's a reason for it, and I'll get more into that in the part two uh, that will be coming out next month. Oh, yeah. So you have to fight anything, but then there's this key door. Uh, why they did that, I don't know. So here we go, we're getting to the end of the video, you're just going to see where the boss, it's bad programming, he'll go into the floor, but um, we're going to get into some other games here, more Spider-Man games, uh, I'm not going to give it all away, but there's uh, a huge series of games we're going to go into in the next time around, guys, so thanks for watching, uh, be sure to check out the nerd reviews of these games, and we'll see you in the next Vanspective.